Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, with an episode of Test Pack Please Ignore. So at the end of my last episode, I had been playing around with a little bit of Thorncraft. Uh, we'll move on to more of that at some point, once I've got time to look into it. Oh, let's go put all my Thorncraft stuff away for now. Um, I think that's all my Thorncraft stuff. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh, man, my Thorncraft. Yeah, I'll come back to the Thorncraft stuff in future episodes once I've had a little bit more of a play around with it. Uh, it's something that I find really cool. It's like one of those mods that I keep meaning to get into and have never really got into it. So hopefully I can get into more of the cool Thorncraft stuff at some point in the future. Uh, today, what I want to do real quick is get a salination plant set up. Now, a salination plant is the... Uh, if we go downstairs... Um, and have a look at my kind of this so far this is like my mechanism setup so we've got like the um, what have we got we've got the uh, purifier we've got the enricher we've got a crusher uh, we've got two crushers and a smelter to start processing my ores now at the moment this whole setup triples my ores now with mechanism you can go down the quadrupling your ores so four times the amount so four times the amount of ingots per ore that goes into your purifier well Four, four times the amount of ore that goes into your mechanism system that comes out at the other end. Four times the amount of ingots as ore, yep. So that's what I'll be looking to set up next. Now the first stage of that is to get what's called a salination plant set up, which is going to be my aim for the day. So uh, we're going to have a quick look at getting that set up. So a few things we're going to need first is a is what, so have a look at salination. So it's got these three different blocks, hopefully they're not too bad. Uh, so we need the salination controller. It's a multi-block structure, so we need the kind of the overall uh, control block, which is a couple of the mechanism steel casings, uh, a copper block, uh, a few of the circuits, and some glass panes. Not too bad. Uh, you need at least two valves, one for water to go in and one for brine to come out. So we've got um, uh, what well, we got? We've got a couple of dynamic valves, some circuits, some copper ingots, and another steel casing. And then finally, the salination block that makes up most of it, uh, which is a load of copper and some dynamic tanks. Also, the final thing that makes up the multi block structure is if we go for solar, um, what we want is some advanced solar generators for mechanism. So you need four of these, one to go on each corner at the top of the salination block, which requires. Um, a couple of enriched alloys, uh, some solar generators, and uh, some iron ingots. So the solar, these solar generators take up solar panels, enriched alloys, iron ingots, energy tablets, and osmium dust. So not too bad. So what I'm going to do is if I grab some redstone and some iron real quick. I'm not sure how much um, enriched alloys I've got right now so I'd rather get them processing now before oh I've got got quite a few but I just want to just want to make sure before we get started oh went up instead of down so let's go down to my basement where all my big machines are so far um no that's not my redstone um metallurgical infuser this is my redstone metallurgical infuser so I'll get that started with um what's what I'm looking for getting some uh iron enriched with some redstone we can pop back upstairs so what i think i might do first is get all these advanced solar panels built so i'm going to need was it 16 of the basic solar generators so i think what we need is so we need what six four times um yeah four times four solar generators so we need 48 of the solar panels so let me just make sure i've got plenty of glass panes um how much glass have i got uh, not enough. So let me grab some sand as well. Start smelting you up into some more glass. Like, um, that's the one. There we go. Into sand. Uh, I might also start putting some sand through the uh, alloy furnace as well. And then I'll just unify that afterwards. There we go. Um, hang on. How much steel have I got? Oh, crap. I've got a crap ton. I still haven't set up a system to um, automatically... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, craft that. So that should stop processing downstairs if we go downstairs now i just want to double check that because i've totally yep so that is now emitting a redstone signal which means this should be active out signal so no more iron or charcoal should be being placed into here we'll just double check that so forgive us a second so as you can see it's only on 62 so that will no longer input iron i don't think oh yeah so charcoal's coming in from somewhere else i think from there yeah 
So charcoal will keep getting filled up, but no more iron will go in now that we've got more than a thousand steel in our system, which is quite cool. Uh, where were we? So yeah, get distracted by that. So, uh, we'll start making these solar panels. So I think we needed, what, 48 of these? So we'll just craft as many as we can and then see what kind of resources we're missing. So I'm missing glass. So if we do this, there we go. And then we go back to making these solar panels. And then we'll keep crafting. Hopefully we'll get all the way up to 48. Never know. Could get lucky. Okay, so I'm out of glass again. So it's five and six. There we go. Let's try again. Put the recipe back in. Going all the way for 48. So we're at 40 so far. Let's grab the glass out of here. Run you through the unifier real quick. There we go. Got ordinary glass, which is quite nice. Um, coming next, we can then go like that. Put you in, back inside. So we need eight more um, of these solar panels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Marvelous. So next, we need to make all. Of, so we need to make some of these energy tablets next. So how much how much enriched alloys have we got at the moment? Thirty-five. Not too bad. So I need sixteen of these. So I think I'm gonna have just. An, oh my god. So let's grab tablet. Shift click that back out. So. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so that's all the energy tablets in place. How much Osmo how much enriched alloys have I got left? This is the uh, next best question. So, I doubt I have enough to make all of these. I have literally have enough enriched alloy to make one solar panel. Fantastic. So, let me have a quick look downstairs. Uh, how much more have I made? I've made 20 so far. So what I, might, what I might make myself real quick is a second metallurgical infuser, just so I can get some more enriched alloys on the go. I honestly did not know how much this was going to take up. So uh, was it in... Was it a metallurgical infuser, isn't it? Metal, metallurgical infuser, there it is. Uh, so we need two furnaces, nice and easy. One, two, like that. Uh, where did it go? Metallurgical infuser, shift click, excellent. So then we just need some redstone and some iron. And we can get that smell. Uh, we can get that processing downstairs alongside its uh, alongside its older brother that's been there for a little while. Let me just plop that down there. Drop in redstone. Drop in iron. Fantastic. That's going to start making us some more enriched alloys. At the same time, there we go. On its way. How many have we got now? Twenty-five. That won't be quite enough to make all of the solar panels this time around. So I'll make as many as I can, and then go back down in a second and grab a few more. So where are we? So I want to go back to solar panel. Here we go. I think this is probably going to be the most expensive part of these four solar gener- Saying that, I only really needed to make three, because I actually have one set up already, which I could have used. Bugger. Um, well, it's too late now. I may as well leave that one in place. Um, yeah, I didn't really need to use that for my power system. That would have been- that would have made a lot more sense. Never mind. Um, where were we? So, shift-click that. So, where's solar? There we go. Make sure I know where this is. So, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we need enough enriched alloys to make two more, so I'll just put them back in there. Drop down. How much more we got? Six there, six there, nice set. So with two going, I wonder if you can, can you put speed upgrades in them? Ah, you can as well, so I might have to make some more speed upgrades for some of my more, some, some more of my mechanism machines, such as these metallurgical infusers, which will process the iron much faster which would be quite cool um so where were we so we need to go oh bloody hell one two and then one two so there we go that's all of the solar panels made so we can actually start making the advanced solar panels now so if we go to here what's the recipe for them so it's just more enriched alloys and four solar generators so i'm gonna have to do this manually i think so do 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 and do Oh, yeah, but it will keep in them in the recipe now, which is quite cool. So there we go. They they won't stack either. So we have the four advanced solar generators made. Fantastic. So now we can go back to salination. So first of all, make the uh, the controller. As that is, uh, we'll go grab a few more enriched alloys. So I've got enough uh, got enough for them to make the circuits that I need. Um, they, this is far easier than I'll be honest. This is far easier than using the what's the word I'm looking for. Like the industrial craft uh, circuits, which are 
quite a little bit more expensive and a little bit kind of harder to create overall, I suppose, because they require rubber, copper, and iron, I think. Yeah, rubber, copper, and iron, and redstone, so far more expensive, where these, well, whereas the mechanism circuits just require iron, and I think it's like three redstone, essentially, because it's iron and redstone to make the enriched alloy, and then two redstone to make the control circuits. So I need four of these, like that. We need two steel casings, which we can do quite straightforwardly. We've got lots of delicious steel now. Um, we should have some glass paint. Oh, we need a copper block. Oh, no, ah, that, was, that was it. So I just need like nine copper. So if we grab some copper like so and go whoop, like that, get a copper block. Fantastic. Is that everything in place? There we go. So we have the salination controller in place. Next, we need two salination valves. So first of all, we'll make, not that, we need, oh, God's sake, keep clicking on one, there we go. So I need one, two, three, four control circuits. I need two steel casings for the two valves. I'm also going to need, um, oh, we need some more circuits by the looks of things. So, okay, so one control circuit makes um, two valves, which is quite cool. So we need two more valves like that. What else did we need? Um, oh yeah, just lots of steel then. So we need one, two of them. So we need four valves all together. And then we just need a load of copper. So that should be all we need for the salination valves. Next, I just need just a crap ton of salination blocks. So how many did that make? So a dynamic tank, which is cobblestone and steel. Oh, we get eight of them. That's pretty cool. So I don't know. How many do you think we need? So we need, what is it? Nine for the bot nine for the bottom layer. Um, so I'm just going. I'm just going to make a crap ton of these. Um, say like we'll make a stack. We'll make a stack of sal. Is that going to be more? Is that going to be more than we need? I don't know. How much steel? Do I, how much steel do I use up there? Steel. Wow, I've still got over a thousand steel, which is pretty sweet. So I'm just going to recraft that into. Um, there we go. Fantastic. Um, what I'm looking for. So I now need to make salination blocks. So I'm just going to make say half a stack for now and see how high I can make this so we'll make 32 no make like 45 I uh, don't know I, I can't I can't decide we'll make yeah we'll make 40 and then see how high see how high it goes because the higher you make this the um I think the more efficient the long run it is something like that oh we've got a load of ender pearls over there as well let me go grab them so we just start smashing up ender lilies ender lilies um because these obviously take a little while to grow, so I don't. So I'd rather just kind of like harvest them and replant them as soon as I spot them. I probably could automate this using like Minefatch Reloaded or something like that, but uh, I can't really be bothered. <laughs> it's just fine to manually do it by hand manually. So we're just going to drop down all of the seeds like so. Two, three. Uh, one, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Oh, have we got an extra one? Fantastic! From all them, we got an, we got an extra ender lily seed because there is a very small chance that you can actually um, get a, get a bonus seed from one of the ender lilies, which is quite cool. So what was I looking for? Oh yeah, I was looking for somewhere to set this up. So I don't know. Hmm. Do I set it up behind my base? Because um, I want to set it up not too far away, so I can kind of pump the brine down below. So um, just wondering the best place to set this up, really. Got a pet here, which I think is from Thorncraft. You basically have to like throw it gold, and then you can start trading things with it. So I might have to capture that in a safari net so it doesn't go missing. Um, what am I looking for? So where would be the best place to set this up? I might have to just pump all the stuff down using um, tesseracts anyway. So it might be best just to kind of like set it up on the hill over here, and then just uh, tesseract it down to down to my basement. So let's put it say um, I don't know. We'll put it here. So let's put let's, let's put the salination plant over here. So we'll start off with a block of nine like so. Then I think what we want is um, a valve, say there. Oh, I've just remembered what I also need. I also need uh, some way of getting water into it. So uh, let me go. Let me go make myself an aqueous accumulator really quick. Drop all those ender pearls off as well. All the delicious ender pearls. So there we go, drop a load of ender pearls, clear that. So yep, let's make ourselves an aqui... Oh, that's, a, that's an SQ, we want AQ, aqueous accumulator. There we go. So make 
Oh, God's sake. Why, why, why must you do that to me? I don't know where I've got sponges from. I didn't even know you could still get them, but uh, I, wonder what, I wonder how useful they are right now. Do we make a machine frame? I don't know. Uh, need a couple of tin gears. That was not the right ones. I want the thermal expansion ones. There we go. They're just slightly easier to make. As you can just use iron instead of having to make like the wooden and then the stone gears. So we need... Oh, God's sake. God's sake, not enough items. Stop screwing around with my... Um, all the different glasses. Why did I make two pneumatic servos? I will never know. Um, I think that should be everything for the uh, what's the one I'm looking for? The aqueous accumulator. So let me just grab a couple of buckets as well, so I can get some water. Uh, I also need some fluid ducts. There we go. Marvelous. Um, another bucket. There we go. So let me just grab some water, which I think there was some. There was some just nearby, so I'm just gonna grab it from there. There we go. Water, water. And then what we can do is um, we'll put the aqueous accumulator here, for example. Let me just block this off. So we'll go one, two, three, do, do, do. And then the aqueous accumulator can go down there. And then water can go either side of it to get the maximum efficiency out of it. It will gain water with just one block, but it gains it so slowly it's almost infinitesimal. So once you've got two, it gains it nice and quickly, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty sweet. So that's the salination. That's the first salination valve. Uh, what I might do is put the other one on the other side. So I'll just break that up real quick. I don't know if you can wrench it up. I don't think you can with mechanisms. So uh, put the other the other valve on the other side, and then we'll build this up as high as possible for now. Can always expand it later on. Um, but we just oh did not mean to do that. So how many is this going to make? So, I think... Have I made this too small? Has it got to be like 4x4? Four four? I think it's size 4x4, four four, isn't it? Bugger. Um, I might have to just demolish all this real quick and then start again because basically I've just forgotten that it's... Uh, I think it's a 4x4 four four structure. Yeah. That was that was silly. Um, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> yeah, um, that was a bit daft. Is it 4x4 four four or 5x5? Five five? It's, quite, it's quite big. Uh, tell you what, I'm just going to go go away, double check that, and also break down this structure, and I'll see in a sec once I know, and we can finish off making it, and hopefully start producing some brine. Okay guys, so I'm back, so yeah, it, it turns out it definitely is a 4x4 structure, so let me just uh, expand this outward slightly. I also just ran back quick and crafted myself a load more, um, what's I'm looking for, uh, a few more salination blocks, so uh, I think I can just drop that down like so. Uh, what we'll also have is I'll just have the other valve on the other side, I think, so we can pump in and pump out, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then, oh, did not mean to turn my jetpack off there. Whoops, a daisy. Uh, I might need to go grab some more salination blocks at some point as well, just because I want to have this reasonably high right now. It's not as I'm short of copper or steel at the moment, so uh, I'm just going to build this upwards a little bit, um, like so. So, how high is it right now? So it's one, two, th one, two, three, four, five. So I want a bit higher. So let me just go grab a few more, uh, few more salination blocks, which won't take too long to craft, as it's quite a simple recipe. So what we'll do is we'll just do you. Say we we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do another forty, for example, and then just grab that. Which copper have I got left now? I've got loads of copper. I've got three thousand copper almost, which is pretty sweet. So, is it getting dark? It might be getting dark. Gotta be careful. Oh, bloody hell, let's not go inside of it. Like that. So, we'll build up a couple more layers, and then I can always expand it in future, depending on like what my all processing needs are. So, we'll just, this will just be going up another few layers. It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely um, exposed to the sunlight, or well, during the day anyway. Which is what the uh, solar panels need to work. So, I think you then need to do... So, I'm actually going to need, like two more salination blocks so it's gonna be worth just going back sleeping through the night making myself a couple more salination blocks and then what's the one I'm looking for oh uh, yeah we'll, fin we'll finish it off and hopefully start producing some brine and then in future episodes I can get that hooked up with the next couple of mechanism machines and I'll start quintupling my ores which is pretty cool so what we need to do is just build like say eight more of these then one two of them like so I think that was all I needed. Uh, I only actually needed one more because I need to put the controller somewhere as well. So, 
if we get to the top, we'll do one, and then the controller, I think. I think, yep, there you go. So I think that's it, it's complete. Oh, and no, it's incomplete, because basically what I need to do next is, if we fly right upwards, is to actually put down the advanced solar panels. So we'll have one there in that corner. Uh, one in that corner. Oh god, they're a bit, they're a bit blah, blah, bloody hell, they're a bit blocky, aren't they? One in that corner, and then one in that corner. Is it complete now? Incomplete. Why is it incomplete? What is incomplete? Um, unless that's got to be at the bottom, and I've just got this totally wrong. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have a quick double check. I'll be back in a second once I know whether or not I need to have the controller at the top or the bottom. Okay guys, so I don't know what I did, but basically, first of all what I did is made sure that every solar panel was flipped round so the kind of the energy output was pointing inwards towards the salination plant. Then what I did is just randomly, I decided, I clicked on, clicked on the multi-block and then just hit salination plant like that, and it seems to be working now, which is quite cool. So as you can see, it's building up some, is that redstone flux? It might be redstone, it's just 800F, which I think might just be what's the word I'm looking for uh, mechanisms own version of like power or something like that so as you can see it's actually converting water into brine uh, albeit slowly at the moment oh no that's the temperature isn't it so uh, so the max is 800 degrees Fahrenheit so it's, at the moment it's just building up building up temperature and once it um, starts to increase its temp so yeah it's Fahrenheit so it's uh, imperial uh, Esque um, temperature scale. I'd rather it was in degrees C, so I'm not entirely sure what 800 Fahrenheit, 800 Fahrenheit is. It's uh, not something I tend to work with on a daily basis. It tends to be degrees C that I uh, see. Uh, so as you can see, it's building up temperature. I'm just going to use this as a generic scale. So it gets into 800 to 800 temperature units, and then once it gets up to maximum temperature, the conversion from water into brine will be fastest. And then, yeah, at some point, we're going to need to find some method of. Um, pumping out brine from here, probably just pump it out into a tesseract, pump that down into my basement using another tesseract, and then pump that straight into, I think what you use first is like a chemical, so if we look at brine, hopefully it'll come up, brine, uh, yep, brine bucket, so if we go along to, so we've got brine here, I think you put it through, uh, I think it's called a chemical, sep is it chemical separator? Yep, uh, you know, it's a chemical reactor. Um, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but basically what you do is that you take the brine, which is basically salt water, so it's uh, containing sodium and chlor chlorine. You then use a machine to separate out the, the salt, you split it down into sodium and chlorine, then you enrich your ores with the chlorine or something like that, I think. And then you basically get four shards from that, and then you start putting it through the system as though it was... Um, or, or you, put, or you put, then put it, put, yeah, you, you make like shards or something, which you then put through the purifier, but you get four instead of three, whatever it is you get out of the purification chamber. So yeah, um, it's been a fairly successful episode. Made myself another large multi-block structure. How much brine we got now? We've got over a thousand brine and temperatures heating up quite nicely. I think this can go all the way up to say 18 blocks. I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got nine. So it's about half the potential size that this could be. But depending on how much brine it produces and how much I really need for my whole mechanism setup, we'll see if that's sufficient. So yeah, uh, I'll be leaving the episode there for now. We've been reasonably successful today. So uh, as always guys, thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to um, comment and like if you enjoyed the episode, uh, but apart from that, uh, again thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, goodbye.